What's up guys? Don't be alarmed, I didn't cut my hair. This is just shrinkage. We didn't stretch it or anything today. I'm just kind of letting it do what it wants to do and it's up in a little puff here. Today's gonna be a video all about how I wash my hair, my complete routine right after I pre-poo. So you guys haven't seen my pre-poo video, it just means pre-shampoo. So it's how I condition and prep my hair before I wash it. It's not necessary, it's just really, really helpful. It strengthens my hair, it moisturizes it and it gets it ready for the shampoo process so it doesn't dry it out too much. So if you guys are interested in that, I will post a link to my current pre-poo, which is amazing in the description box for you guys to check out how I do that. So this video is gonna start off the next day after I pre-poo because I like to sleep in my pre-poo and then the next day I will wash my hair. And I also wanna to mention too that you don't have to do what I'm doing in this video. This is literally just what I like to do. Maybe if you like it, you can try it, but you don't have to. If you guys want a really fast routine, I'm gonna also link my 25 minute co-wash in the description box. This gets me in and out of the shower in 25 minutes and it works really, really well. So. I'm going to share what I've been doing to get my hair so, oh, look at this. It's so soft, it's so soft and it feels so good. I wanna do a close up, look at this hair. You guys, oh, I love this routine. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I will see you after the video. So this is the next day after I pre-pooed overnight. Now you can actually leave this pre-poo in your hair if you need to. Sometimes when I get really busy, I'll wash it out two or three days later. So it's really flexible. So I'm wetting my hair completely, getting it as soaked as possible. I'm gonna grab my DIY black soap shampoo and that recipe is linked in the description box. And I apply this to my scalp only. I like washing my hair in twists now because it helps me focus the shampoo only on my scalp. You really don't need as much shampoo on your ends as you do on your scalp. There's not as much product buildup. So it's been best for me to initially focus the shampoo only on my scalp at this point so that my ends don't dry out too much. It also helps my hair stay relatively detangled in the process. So working the shampoo into my scalp and I also give myself a nice little massage while I'm working it in. Now that my scalp is nice and clean, this is when I take out my twists. I take out my twists now to make sure that while I'm rinsing the shampoo out, the soapy water travels all the way down and off of my hair, making sure that no product buildup gets trapped. This also guarantees that the shampoo is able to hit all of my hair strands and ends as it passes on through, giving them a nice and mild cleansing, which is really all they need. So I'm rinsing all that shampoo and dirt off of my scalp and hair, now I'm gonna grab a really slippery conditioner to make sure that my hair is super detangled. You guys know that I love Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle, but I recently decided to try the Giovanni conditioner and I know I'm super late to this one, but I decided to give it a try and it is amazing. I still like them both, but I'm gonna have to go with the Giovanni for this one. It's definitely a bit more moisturizing. So I'm working that in from ends to roots and make sure to cover your whole head with it. Now I'm gonna start detangling one side at a time. Making a nice clean part, and this helps to reduce breakage on my hair while I'm detangling. I get to work on that section, finger detangling under the water for added slip and weight. When the section's completely detangled, rinse that conditioner out, and now we're gonna add our deep conditioning treatment. My current favorite is still the Shea Moisture's High Porosity Mask, so I'm gonna add, whoop, <laughs> I'm gonna apply that to my hair from ends to roots. And you don't have to worry too much about detangling since you already did. Making sure you get the ends nice and covered and moisturized. Now I just twist the section up and wrap it into a bantu knot to get it out of the way. Now grab another large section and repeat the same thing. Making a nice clean part to help reduce breakage. I'm finger detangling my hair under the water. And when you're all detangled, rinse that conditioner out. And we're gonna add our deep conditioning treatment, applying it from ends to roots. Make sure to really work it into your ends. Twist the section up and wrap it into a bantu knot to get it out of the way. Repeating the exact same thing to the last section. And the first side is complete. Now repeat the same exact process to the other side. Outside the shower, I'm gonna unravel my bantu knot so my twist can hang freely, and I'm covering my head with two plastic caps. I like to use two just to make sure my whole head is covered so no heat can escape or liquids or anything like that. Now one of my favorite things that I've added to my routine is my hot head heat cap. 
This cap really helps to intensify my deep conditioning treatment. I just heat it up in the microwave and put it on. So I just leave this on my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes. So admittedly, the worst part of this entire process is having to get back into the shower after you've already dried yourself off. But it's worth it to allow the deep conditioner to work its magic, so I deal with it. I'm telling you, when I take off my plastic cap, my hair is so soft. I'm gonna clip one side out of the way and working one twist at a time, I rinse out all that deep conditioner and check out that moisture and definition. Next, I like to balance my hair's pH with aloe vera juice. So just spray that all over the section. This also helps close the hair's cuticle to help trap in that moisture, along with a million other things aloe is great for. My hair and body oil, yep, still using that. I'm applying enough to coat my hair from ends to roots. Then I do a quick, like super fast rinse under the water just to get that top layer of greasy oil off. Okay, so everything's nice and sealed in. The last step, which I never used to do, is applying a leave-in. What? Yeah, I used to hate leave-ins until I decided to try this one. I found this at my local Sally's. It's the three-in-one conditioner from Main Choice that you can also use as a leave-in. So applying a bit from ends to roots, really making sure those ends are covered and protected. Again, I quickly wet my hair under the water just to rinse a little bit of this leave-in out of my hair so it's not too heavy. This also helps me to smooth my roots down. I twist all the way to the ends and then wrap it into a bantu knot to keep it out of the way. Grab another twist and repeat the same process. Untwist, rinse the deep conditioner out, coat the hair with aloe vera juice, seal it all in with the DIY hair and body oil from ends to roots. A quick rinse under the water will remove that top greasy layer of oil, making your hair nice and soft. Apply your leave-in from ends to roots. Give your hair a quick rinse once more to remove the excess product and smooth your roots. Then twist the section up and wrap it into a bantu knot. Repeat this process on that last twist. And when the first half is complete, do the same thing for the second half. And that's it. Clean, hydrated, and moisturized hair. Here's a quick look after I get out the shower. You can see how shiny and soft my hair looks, and it feels amazing. Super fluffy, moisturized, and shrunken. And from here, you can just style your hair however you like. So this is the next day. I didn't do anything to my hair after the twist. I just wrapped each twist around my head and pinned it in place and let it dry overnight. My hair was not completely dry when I woke up because it was super moisturized. So we have a good amount of shrinkage, but I don't mind the shrinkage. It is cute. This is probably the best my hair has ever felt, ever. Like even when my hair was super long. This is the most moisturized it's ever felt. So I hope this video helped and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.